Thank you, Chris, and good morning, everyone. I'd like to quickly thank uh, Chris Pensley, and the Glenville Town Supervisor for approving the Glenville Rotary, and uh, my own, my very own VFW Post Board for 4660, so I'm a new member. Specifically, I'm thankful for the opportunity this morning to convey a rare artifact that belonged to a young soldier from Scotia, New York, as mentioned by the Jack Hemstry, John Jack Hemstry. Private John S. Jack Hemstry is just one of many local service members who have made the ultimate sacrifice fighting for our country. Fate would lead me to Private Hemstry's story. In January of 2018, I purchased a piece of rare World War II military currency on eBay. Commonly referred to as invasion currency, it was issued to U.S. troops uh, to be used overseas rather than the U.S. dollar, which would disrupt local economies. When I began my research on the artifact and learned that it belonged to a local soldier, I knew this was going to be much more than just another addition to my military collection. I'd like to share a little of what I've learned about Jack. Jack was born in 1920. He was a machine operator at the General Electric Company in Schenectady, New York. Before he became Private Hemstreet in the United States Army on December 12, 1941. Like many men, he enlisted just days after the historic Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. part of the 116th Regimental Combat Team of the 29th Infantry Division, chosen to lead the first assault wave on D-Day at Omaha Beach, Normandy, France, June 6, 1944. Jack would survive D-Day the day he signed this piece of Allied currency. As a member of the 111th Field Artillery Battalion, Hemstreet would go on to support the 116th Infantry Regiment of the 29th Blue Gray Infantry Division in numerous battles against German forces. Hemstreet was killed in action behind enemy lines in Germany just four months after he did. Hemstreet, along with 8,291 American service member, members, were bar was buried in the American Military Cemetery in Margaret, Margaretton, Netherlands. Hemstreet was the recipient of a Purple Heart, but he would never return home to see his family, marry, have children, or even witness the demise of the enemy. After learning Jack's story, I reached out to his family. I spoke to Jack Hemstreet's niece, Mary Hemstreet, and met with his cousin, Brendan Gibbons, who is here today. Brendan, would you please come forward? my honor to, to present the family with this 1944 U.S. Allied 10th Rank Liberation Currency signed and dated D-Day, June 6, 1944, by Private John Hemstreet. Right. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Brendan, he had, he had no prior knowledge of this, and I sort of had to withhold some facts about why I was reaching out to the family because I wanted it to be a surprise for today. Can I just, mind if I call the elected officials up if you'd like to get a picture? Anybody, county, town, village, anybody? <laughs> 